Hello, and welcome to Hot Sauce Technologies Back of the House demo. In this video, we'll go over some of the daily operations using the point of sale system. First, just like front of the house, we have a back office login. We'll execute the icon, and it'll bring up our back office menu. We'll want to log in first. Once logged in, we'll see a bunch of tabs at the top. Each one of them has their own distinct function. Under daily is going to be the daily operations. Um, this will give you active sales under daily summary. Uh, In-house accounts, um, if you have people that want to pay at a later date. And then you have your store messages. These are daily messages, um, 86 items, um, login messages if you want to tell people they have things coming up. Then every day you'll need to clock in, in and out all employees. Make sure no one's clocked in. You can see the list over here where no one's clocked in. And if someone were clocked in, it would populate over here, similar to the way it does here. You can also adjust these clock in and outs here. Then the cash deposits. This is going to be how much money that you have left over in cash every day. Um, this is for record keeping. Um, you'll put in how much cash went to the bank that day. The window looks similar to this. You choose the date, put the amount of cash deposit, and hit save. Um, submitting the settlement. This is going to be where you submit your credit cards. Um, it'll send all of them at once, and you'll have a, a window popped up. And closing the business day. What this is going to do is going to take all your sales information and throw it into an archive so that you can view it later through business intelligence. Business intelligence is the reporting feature of our software. Um, this is where you'll come in. Um, the reporting is very robust and very diverse. Um, your daily summary is going to be pretty much a report that encompasses every all the other reports. Um, it's going to have your net sales, voids, comps, discounts. It'll tell you your payment methods, um, your price per check average, um, your price per guest average, uh, viable information when running a restaurant or any any type of, type of um, restaurant business. Um, EDS, this is going to be your electronic verification software. It's going to be dealing with your credit cards. Um, you can see your open batch throughout the day. You can see your previous settled batches, your credit card history, and if you have a gift card that's incorporated with the account. Um, and then you can see your audit, which is going to tell you different things that are changed, that have changed. Um, your daily payment detail is going to give you a breakdown of different types of payments. Um, department sales, some of these are pretty self-explanatory. Um, period sales, which is very good for uh, monitoring the staff and when you need to have people in and when you need to start cutting people for labor issues. Um, menu item reports are going to be specifically for that. Um, product mix is one that we use. Uh, you can pretty much search for different menu items. You've, you are looking to see how much you're doing on volume. Um, you can trim them down to just view appetizers or specific venue links that you have created or just different departments, different parts of the day and see what and filter it by employees that have sold those. Um, employee information, um, this will pull uh, if you want a list of employees, their address, all the information that you would put in to the system, you can pull a report here and generate that um, for human resources needed throughout the restaurant. Um, time card is going to tell you the clock in and outs. Um, you'll be able to print a report out to see those. Um, and some of these we can go into further detail. Um, audit trail, this is very good for management um, of your managers. Uh, you can see who did voids, who did comps, discounts, so pretty much anything that happens within the software you can see who initiated the comp and who originally held the item that was comped or voided, discounted, or transferred. All those listed there. Um, transaction uh, lookup and sale history, these are going to be a way of looking at historical data if you need to uh, reprint a receipt from a customer that came in that um, needs a, their receipt from last week or last year, they can come in here and print that out if they need to. Um, let's move right on to menu item. These are the menu items that are actually in the software. Um, you can go in and as you notice, if we choose just one item here, you can see this very robust as far as the different ways that you can have this one menu item adjusted throughout the system. Um, then you have a modifiers page, which this is, can go on and on. Um, you have 
alternate pricing and printing. Um, it's a very nice feature. You can actually change the price of a specific item for a specific day for different times of the day. So if you want to run a happy hour, you can put that this Stolichnaya pulls up for $2 on Monday and Tuesday from 3.30 to 5.30. It's pretty, pretty easy to set up, pretty self-explanatory. Um, also gives you an option for doing multiple languages. Um, when it prints to the kitchen, it's very useful. Uh, recipe, um, this is more with the how the item is used for inventory reasons. You can put what item that's related to your inventory and the usage there. Um, this is a new feature, the menu item image. Um, you can actually upload a JPEG of the image itself um, so that you can actually show your staff. They can have a, actually view the new menu item if it's a new dish or a new drink or anything that you're selling. All right, so that's about it for menu item. Um, and employee is going to be where you add, remove employees. It's a very simple setup. Um, you can assign different jobs at different pay rates and the security level will allow them to do certain things throughout the day. It's very good, very, a lot of very useful tools in here for managing your staff. Um, enforce clock in, you can have a manager approval before they clock in. You can actually do clock restrictions. If you have an employee that comes in um, repetitively early or repetitively late and you're tired of paying them, you can actually just say you can only clock in between this window and you need a manager approval otherwise. Um, other is a way of you can terminate employees once they leave you don't want to necessarily delete them out of the system. You want to give an explanation of why they were terminated and put notes down here and you can hit save. Um, once they're terminated, they will no longer populate in this list, but you do have this option here to show terminated. And that is about it. Um, there are some more um, system configurations that we can go over, but at this point, that's pretty much the gist of the back office. Thank you for watching.